hello, beautiful people. So usually I do kind of a little satire, a little funny video before the live stream, but this time I'm just going to give a summary of what we should accomplish because personally, I don't find anything funny about this and I don't really feel like being funny. So first, when did we become a bunch of narrow-minded pussies? I mean, we used to appreciate our differences. Isn't that why we founded our country in the first place? Imagine if our founding fathers were narrow-minded like everyone is at YouTube. Uh, new religion? Nope. Women wear pants? Nope. People aren't slaves? Nope. A man and a man can fall in love? Nope. Butter and margarine? Nope. Women can vote? Nope. Men can be in the living room? Nope. I mean, think about it, you know? YouTube started as a video review system on social media. It was a video. You had to be in it, and you had to keep comments there because it was all about reviewing. Now, it's basically a podcast with a bunch of fluffers in it. It's kind of ridiculous. So remember, I operate a true open panel, which means I'm not going to moderate your comments, and I'm not going to move the direction of the discussion. As long as you can be civil, talk without screaming, and talk without profanities or obscenities, you can stay. If you do any of those things, you're gone. And the reason I do that is when you do those things, you lose all credibility. And personally, I don't have time to waste. Now, the next thing, when did we become such vile human beings? I mean, I seriously think there is a portion of the population who just has the intent to be a vile human being. I don't really get it. The world's kind of fucked up enough without us trying to hurt each other. I mean, you can read a story or read an email or say something about somebody without the intent to absolutely hurt someone. And that's the difference. If I asked everyone out there to say who has ever looked at a Facebook profile of someone they didn't really know just to kind of check in on them, see where they lived, maybe how much money they had, or who didn't do like a Ben Verified on someone, maybe someone new in their friend group just to kind of see if they had a criminal record or just to get some info for themselves, okay? That's different than taking that information to make an email like this. That's an email that was sent to my husband's ex-employer and it said that I was a child molester and I was doing illegal activities on their property. That could get somebody fired, okay? Or you can make an email like this, which is something sent to a family member that also said I was a child abuser and that I had lots of lawsuits against me for defaming people and being slanderous and doing all these horrible things. Or you can make a video like this, which was a video including photos of my children that was so bad that YouTube took it down before I ever saw it and they terminated the channel. Yeah. See, it's all about intent. You can do the same thing, but if you intend to completely fuck someone over, you're a vile human being. We're all petty bitches. We're all assholes sometimes, but we're not all vile human beings, okay? So just remember, civilization has been here for about 300,000 years. And unless you're an Einstein or a Picasso, your life really doesn't matter too much in the big scheme of things. What, 100 years out of 300,000? The only way you really matter is by your relation to other people. How did you treat people? How did you get along with your friends and family members? So if you're going around being a vile human being to everyone, your life really, really doesn't matter to anybody, anywhere, anytime. So. These are the things that I'd like to talk about because what I've seen from the last week, it's not okay. There's a lot of petty bitches, but there's some vile human beings too. So if everyone's ready, let's all head on over to the live stream. Bye.